More WinterCon leaks? Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and gas. We're glad you danced by. You get the right time. We had an all time line. Pumples out, joys, and chimes. Don't mind. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell them all, we are together. Yes. All right, so a while back we made a video about WinterCon leaks, and it looks like we're getting even more WinterCon leaks right now. <sighs> Sorry, I yawned. Are you serious? I didn't mean to, it came out. It was a really big one too. You know that painting of the Scream guy where he's like, that's what I looked like. I know it was, oh God. Anyhow, WinterCon 2022, let's talk about it. No, we already did that part. I was doing it again. God, just... You're just like you fall asleep and then woke up. <laughs> so more WinterCon photos are surfacing and I know while we were at New York Comic Con this year, there were tables that actually had WinterCon Funko Pops. What the? I know, I wanna know where they're getting them and at the con, they were asking like $40 per WinterCon stickered Funko Pop. Loki and Black Adam both were going for at least $40. I thought they were like 600. I saw some for 60 for okay. real. Okay, all right, all right. No, I really saw some for 60. Okay, well you're throwing out 600, I don't know like. Well, that was a joke. Okay, it anyway, real. We'll, we'll get more in depth in what we're seeing online and what's being shared around. But, but first, first, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that little bell, that way you know any time we go live which is every single Sunday so make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you can see all the cool we're up to also hit the like button because that helps this channel in a really big way it actually helps this video gain more traction so more people can find the castle cast and hey if you want to support a little bit more head over to patreon.com slash castlecast and find out all the ways that you can support there we do a zoom meet chat every single month with you guys where we do giveaways and talk to you and interact with you one on like 50 or 60. We have a lot of fun and sometimes we post unedited footage and shit can get crazy. So head over to patreon.com slash gasocast to find out more. So in the video where we talked about leaks, we specifically discussed Loki and Black Adam and we know that those are two Fungo Pops that will be a part of WinterCon. However, I have no idea when WinterCon is supposed to happen. Do you have any clue? I heard December 2nd. Okay, so December 2nd is going to be WinterCon. However, you can pretty much get every WinterCon Fungo Pop and soda right now in some way, shape, or form. Okay. WinterCon, December 2nd, that's on a Friday. I think I'm right about that. I read it somewhere, but I don't remember where and I couldn't find it again today. So we'll go with December 2nd and if we're wrong, well, we'll find out closer to December 2nd, I guess. Or maybe we'll find out on December 2nd when doesn't go live. So a couple other Fungo Pops and sodas sort of surfaced over the last couple weeks and months. Arwen, which is a Lord of the Rings character, I believe. Nah. That soda is surfacing and we're seeing a picture of the can. It says Barnes and Noble a little early. I guess Barnes and Noble is actually putting this on the shelves, which I didn't even know Barnes and Noble was doing Funko stuff anymore. I thought they were completely out. Maybe it's Barnes and Noble in Canada. And then a Hawkman soda from Black Adam has shown up as well. And this one actually is pretty cool. I like this one. I think the chase might be like a version with a helmet or the picture of this particular soda is the chase where he has no helmet on at all. I don't like that if that's the chase. I don't know. He's cool looking. I like his gear. I like his armor. He's pretty badass. No, he's really cool looking, but I'm a firm believer that a chase should be chase worthy and you should want to chase the chase. And to me, I'd prefer a helmeted one, I think. Superheroes need to wear their superheroes. That's like one in Clark Kent or something instead of Superman. If you had to choose, would you prefer a Superman pop or a Clark Kent pop, a guy with glasses? Superman all day, every day. Another one that's shown up is Spinner and we talked about this in our video previously. It's a My Hero Academia character and it looks like a Ninja Turtle. He looks like a mix between a Ninja Turtle and a Koopa. And then there's a Joker comic book cover thing. This one looks pretty badass. I actually like this piece a lot. They're really doing these covers. Yeah, of course they are. cons. Of course, why not? Ew! Uh, ew! I hate it. 
I hate everything about it. Why? It's because, another... okay, hear me out. Con prices are always way inflated. You can normally go to the store and get a regular Funko Pop for like 10 bucks. Well, guess what? Not during cons. They're $15. You know what this means? If this thing is like a $20 thing, then you're going to be spending like 500 on it for the con. 500? Okay, like 25 or 30. Okay, your numbers are just so loopy tonight. There's also a Yu-Gi-Oh! Summon Skull. And although I'm not a Yu-Gi-Oh! fan and I don't okay. care about Yu-Gi-Oh! This guy's cool. pretty cool looking. Yeah, I want to see him out of box though. I like his hooves. His feet sort of look like mine. have hooves? He has like feet with claws and talons coming off. What are you talking about? Oh, you know what a hoof no, is? No, look, that looks, like, that looks like a hoof. It does not look like a it, hoof. It looks like a hoof there. But I was wrong. I can see the, the weird talons. Okay, now. anyway, this is another winter convention exclusive, as you can see from the sticker posted on the thing. I like his horns. He's very horny. You know who else is horny? Loki. I know he is. I, yeah. I like the Loki Funko Pop. I wanted to buy this at New York Comic Con, but I knew I had to wait. I'm not going to spend that kind of money on this thing. No. But I like that he has the alligator on his hand. Yeah, that's, that's a great cool. one. Yeah, the alligator Loki. I think that's badass. Yeah. But the two Funko Pops that have just surfaced, Hush and Spider-Man Bug Eyes Armor. And I actually don't really care about like random Spider-Man suits, but this one I actually like and I will buy this one. I like it a lot. I like that it's in like an action pose. He looks really cool. And the mask is really like super super different. He has really big eyes. Well, that's why he's bug eyes. Yeah, they're like as big as your teeth and your weird nipples. What are you talking about? Weird nipples? Why would you bring they're that up? really big. What do you... No, they're not. I have very small nipples. Some people have said I have M&M nipples. What are you talking about? My nipples are very small. Who said that? A lot of people. Who is saying that? It doesn't matter. A little bit. Okay, it doesn't. I don't have big nipples. Why are you going to tell people that? They're like salons. They really aren't. I have small nipples. Why are you telling people that? You're going to make them think I have really big nipples and I don't. Have you ever had a Lunchable, the, um, the pizza ones that come... Don't you that come dare. With do you, have say you, that I have lunchable nips. No, have you had have you had the pizza lunchables that come with the little pepperoni? Yes, I have. I, those are not my nips. Oh no, it's the actual pizza crust. <laughs> You're so ridiculous. Not the pepperonis, okay. the pizza crust. I liked it better when you were sick. Because <laughs> you didn't say stupid shit like this. The Hush figure is actually cool looking, but I knew nothing about Hush. It looks like Batman to me, but with like a wrapped mask on. But I know that this character is okay. a villain to Batman. Listen. And it looks cool, and I just, I happen to like listen. it. I'm not going to buy it, but I happen to like listen. it. You, you keep telling me to listen. To listen to what? That's Batman the mummy. Okay, so what else we got? Okay, so this is not a WinterCon exclusive, but somebody posted today that they got the Black Panther diecast figure in hand, and they have the chase here. Now, this was posted in a random group on Facebook. Now, yeah, the reason why I'm bringing this up... Sale. Well, no, it didn't. Yeah, huh? When? Last week. No, it isn't. No, it has never gone up for sale yet. I it's know. unreleased. I was just I was just trying to see if you'd fall for it. All right, so the reason why I'm bringing this up is because all those WinterCon Funko Pops are showing up in people's hands, and now this diecast Black Panther is showing up in people's hands. Why is this happening? Okay, can I tell you something, though, that's really good? We didn't see Box of Fun or Box of Fright leaks until they actually hit people's hands. And that's a win. I don't f***ing care that these WinterCon whatever bullshit dumb little pops are showing up because I don't care about any of them, okay? But that's you. They're stupid. But I just want to know how these are ending up in people's hands. Is it because of like an overseas thing? Because I noticed that a lot of these pops are showing up in the people's hands that are like overseas. Are they? Yes, but then they're also showing up at New York Comic Con at these random booths where those people probably order them also from overseas. So what is happening? WinterCon has not happened. It's like getting New York Comic Con exclusives in July. It's like when when San Diego Comic Con happens and New York Comic Con Funko Pops and sodas are leaking. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. And I have no idea how this person got the Black Panther die cast Funko Pop in hand. But one thing I do want to mention about the Black Panther Pop is that why is this the only time we get a Wakanda Forever and it has to be die cast? Why couldn't we get a Wakanda Forever in regular vinyl Funko Pop form? Yeah, why couldn't we get that? It's so stupid. I absolutely hate this that you have to buy the Black Panther diecast Funko Pop in order to get it. I don't want the diecast Funko Pop. I am done with diecast. That's a lie. No, no, I am. Oh, I'm done. I don't want diecast. I think they're overpriced, and I also think that the chases are so lame. If they made better chases, I would be all in, but I gave up. I gave up when they dropped Thor. I was going to buy it, but I decided I'm not going for it. And I am done. And that's the one to buy. Like, Thor 
is cool. Thor is cool, but I'm not buying that shit. I'm done. That's it. I'm finished. I'm not buying diecast Fungo Bobs ever again. Maybe they'll make a Wakanda Forever pose in Fungo Pops. They like should. Regular like a vinyl Fungo, Fungo Pop. We, we they should totally really, get that. They really should. And honestly, I never even put two and two together. But what the f***? Yeah, exactly. It's bullshit. All right, so WinterCon is coming December the 2nd, and I don't know what's going to happen with the Funko Pops. If we're leaking this much and there's this many in the world right now, are there like a ton of each one of these Funko Pops and sodas made? There has yeah. to be a lot of them. Yeah. Because when we were at the con, there was a whole stack of Lokis and a whole stack of Black Adams. There's a ton and, out there. And I think I saw Spinners. Did you see Spinners too? I think. Yeah. So look, there's already three exclusives that are out there. Now, I don't know if these are going to be like store exclusives like Hot Topic or Amazon or whomever. But by looking at this, there's going to be a ton. We're not going to have a problem. So do not buy these right now secondhand. Literally wait for them to hit store shelves and then buy them then. So Funko basically will be showing us everything that's coming for WinterCon in a couple weeks, I'm sure. But by then, we have already seen all of them. So there's really no point now. Funko is going to spend all this money on marketing, but we're already going to know what it is. It's done. And I'm pretty sure that WinterCon is going to be teensy weensy in comparison to NYCC and SDCC. It's going to be teensy weensy unlike this guy's nip. Hey! I have small nips! Yeah, if you think those little pizzas are small for nips. Why is this video turning into my nips? Do I have to whip a nip out? I might have to bring them out and, and prove that they're not humongous. I was just going to offer to compare them to the Lunchable pizza crust. Okay, I'm done. All right, so what do you think about the Winter Con exclusives? And what do you think about somebody getting their hand on the Black Panther early? What the f*** is that about? And what do you think about Chris's nipples being bigger than most people's hands? Let us know no, all not. that what are you talking about? in the comment section down below. I'm not done. And also, what do you think about the Wakanda Forever pose? Isn't that cool? That's badass, right? And it should be in regular Fungo Pop vinyl form. No, they, not want, in die cast. they want you to buy oh, it's garbage. It's trash! All right, so this is the part of the video where we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Garcia Fambam, Thomas Rinkax, Russell Walker, Chris Zazaski, Hassan E., Justin and Stacey McKenzie, Kevin Hartke, Stephen Owens, Ryan Guerrero, and Shroot Farm Pops. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock. This is the perfect time to let you know to head over to poppinofftoys.com and use promo code GASWGAS to get 10% off your order. And if you're a level four patron, you get 15% off. And if you don't have the code to get your 15% off, please reach out to us and we'll make sure you're hooked up. Guys, thank you so much for staying until the end of the video. It means a lot to us. We appreciate you. Remember as always, we hunt together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.